So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In today's video I'm going to show you three hacks and I am sure that at least one of them you didn't know. How about that? Let's get started. Okay guys, three hacks. Let's see if I can surprise you with at least one of them. I think I will, but who knows. Okay, the first one. Do you see these panes that they are actually collapsible? I don't know if you noticed, but if you go here to view and open one of these other panes, there is no collapse function, so you can only delete them, or so you think. Let me show you. You can actually collapse these too. If you double click on the name, you'll see that it will collapse everything, but it's still, it collapses. This is the same with visualization and fields. You can co cl double click and collapse. That's super, super cool. And this trick I learned on Twitter from Mark. Thank you, Mark. This is absolutely fabulous trick. Did you know? Okay, the next tip, we have to go to the modeling pane. And we go here, model pane. And then as you can see, I have some folders created. You probably knew that you can create folders. There's nothing new in there, but did you know that you can create subfolders too? So if you grab one of the measures to create folders, it's a little bit of skewer method, <laughs> but it works. So here you write folder and let me do the wrong way first. And then here you write subfolder. So if you write the name of a folder, it will create a folder here. So you can see here that it didn't create some folders, but if you reverse these and you do it like that, which folders, so folders, so you can actually have some folders in your uh, modeling pane. And if you want to get rid of it, everything, you just delete the folder name and voila. I hope that there's will be like, you know, right click create folder, but until then it works. So do you know i'm sure that maybe a lot of you knew about this but anyhow last trick this is actually quite cool and very obscure too so let's go to power query and here's the thing i learned this on twitter i'm fortunately i did not save the name of the person that said that so if it was you that said tweet about this just let me know and i'll pin your comment i, I apologize i just don't have the, the, the i just remember it so here's the thing there are a few context menus in power query you can right click on the header name and it will show up a pane with possibilities with not with options you can also click on cells and do stuff and obviously everything that you do is related to where you are at. There is a third menu though, and it is on these green bars, which is the, um, these ones, the column distribution and column profile. If you right click right on the bar, you see something new, a third menu shows up that is relevant to column profiling. So removing dupl duplicates, keeping errors, deleting errors, very, very neat. And you have this copy quality metrics I tested and what it does is basically it copies the how many errors, how many valid, that kind of stuff. So that is my third tr trick. Now tell me, did you know all of three? I am fairly sure that I should have surprised you with at least one of them, but let me know, who knows. I will see you again on Wednesday with a Power BI video, maybe it will be power week this week is midweek who knows so in that case it will be that otherwise maybe we continue with the misleading chart series i'm going to start talking bye bye